Greetings everyone. Banupatra brings to you the news highlights of 4th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that even if the complainant is of the opinion that monetary demand or claim is incorrect and not payable, an offence under the section 405 of IPC is not constituted in absence of evidence to establish action that are in violation of any law or legal contract touching discharge of trust. The court has held that when the violation of law alleged is clearly debatable and doubtful, the magistrate must ensure classification of the ambiguities and should not pass a summoning order under section 204 of the CRPC lightly or as a matter of course. The court while observing that state does not have absolute discretion while spending money has held that government contracts must be ordinarily awarded through tender process and departure from the tender route must not be unreasonable or discriminatory. The court while setting aside direction of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that owner of a cinema hall has the right to regulate moviegoers from carrying food and beverage from outside into the movie hall. The court, while observing that a wrong order is not a ground to infer bias and transfer the trial from the state, has refused to entertain the plea filed by Samajwadi party leader Azam Khan seeking to transfer his cases from the state of Uttar Pradesh. News highlights from the High Courts The Delhi High Court, while denying pre-arrest bail to a man in a complaint lodged by his wife, alleging that her household articles were stolen while she was away from the house, has held that law does not permit the husband to take away wife's household articles without her consent and knowledge. The Uttarakhand High Court has held that, although it is settled position in law that injunction cannot be granted against true owner of the property, even an unauthorized occupant can be ejected from a property only in the manner provided by law. The Allahabad High Court has directed Principal Secretary Law and LR UP Government to introduce biometric system in Office of CSC Allahabad within two weeks and to ensure that files of each and every matter listed in court reach by 10 am when courts sit and start their judicial work. The Karnataka High Court has struck down a guideline by Department of Sanic Welfare and Resettlement by which married daughters under the age of 25 years were held ineligible for issuance of dependent identity card which makes them eligible to apply for government jobs in ex-servicemen category. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.